What does the Bible say about tithing? This ancient practice that was performed by the Israelites in the time of Moses also shows up in the New Testament being performed by the Pharisees in the time of Jesus. But what is it exactly? A tithe is one-tenth of annual produce or earnings formally taken as a tax for the support of the church and clergy. Without further delay, let's see what scripture specifically says what tithing is all about. A tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. Whoever would redeem any of their tithe must add a fifth of the value to it. Every tithe of the herd and flock, every tenth animal that passes under the shepherd's rod, will be holy to the Lord. Will a mere mortal rob God? Yet you rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offering, you are under a curse, your whole nation, because you are robbing me. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Speak to the Levites and say to them, when you receive from the Israelites the tithe I give you as your inheritance, you must present a tenth of that tithe as the Lord's offering. Your offering will be reckoned to you as grain from the threshing floor or juice from the wine press. In this way you will also present an offering to the Lord from all the tithes you receive from the Israelites. From these tithes you must give the Lord's portion to Aaron the priest. These tithes that were made up of different resources was demanded by God to be gathered together for feast as well as animal sacrifices that was performed by priests and Levites for the atonement of sins. Some of these tithes were even gathered together to sustain the poor and it mentions this in the book of Deuteronomy. At the end of every three years, bring all the tithes of that year's produce and store it in your towns so that the Levites, who have no allotment or inheritance of their own, and the foreigners and the fatherless and the widows who live in your towns may come and eat and be satisfied, and so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the works of your hands. Although this is an ancient practice, there are many Christians that believe that tithing is for today that just like the children of Israel, that we as the modern church should also give to the poor as well as give money to the church for feast and sacraments to advance the kingdom of God to the entire world, that the gospel may be preached to every living creature. But what does the New Testament tell us about tithing? It seems that the New Testament gives a softer stance on the matter. 2 Corinthians 9 tells us, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. This is what many Christians define as an offering. But does it make the tithing of ancient times become obsolete? Or does this practice coincide with tithing of the ancient times? Nonetheless, as a Christian, if you believe in tithing alone or offering alone, or tithing and offering both in the same, I believe that all Christians can agree that we should give some type of payment to the gospel of Jesus Christ from our hearts. For it is the gospel of Jesus Christ that saved us, and it is the gospel of Jesus Christ that Christ himself paid a heavy debt. This is Infinite Quotes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Peace.